वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन हेयर क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव बाय द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन फॉर ऑल एन बिलोंगिंग टू द सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर कैपिटल एन वन अपॉन वन इंटू टू इंटू थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री इंटू फोर इंटू फाइव प्लस अप टू वन अपॉन एन इंटू एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू दिस इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड इज एन इंटू एन प्लस थ्री अपॉन फोर इंटू एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू वी हैव टू प्रूव इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन ओके सो फर्स्ट स्टेप Uh, we have to show that p1 is true second step we assume that pr is true and third step we have to show that pr plus 1 is true so this is given mathematical statement and mathematical statement given is denoted by the notation pn okay so let us see the solution here here given mathematical statement denoted by pn is 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1 by 3 into 4 into 5 plus up to nth term is 1 by n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equal to right hand side is n into n plus 3 divided by 4 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 let us call it relation number 1 okay and first step we have to show that p1 is true to show that p1 is true and how we'll get p1 we'll get p1 by putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 so putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 you see here total number of terms in left hand side is n this is first term one starting with one here starting with two so this is second term here starting with three so this is third term here starting with n so this is nth term correct so your total number of terms is how many n but when you are putting n is equal to 1 then we have to take only one term which will be first term so here first term is p1 will be first term is 1 upon 1 into 2 into 3 and in right hand side also we have to put n is equal to 1 here so this is 1 into 1 plus 3 divided by 4 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 or we are getting this is 1 by 6 1 by 6 this is equal to this is 4 by 4 into this is 2 this is 3 so 6 here 4 will be cancel out so we are getting 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 that is lhs is equal to rhs and therefore p1 is true so therefore p1 is true this is the first step and now second step we have to assume that to assume that pr is true how will get pr by putting n is equal to r in relation number 1 so putting n is equal to r in relation number 1 we will get pr so pr will be 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 4 Plus one by three into four into five, plus one by r into r plus one into r plus two, r into r plus one into r plus two. Putting n is equal to r here. Okay, and right hand side is here also will put n is equal to r. So r into r plus three. R plus three divided by four into R plus one into R plus two, four into R plus one into R plus two. Let us call it relation number two. So we are assuming that this is true. P R is true, and third and last step, 
we have to show that to show that p r plus 1 is true and you know how we'll get p r plus 1 by putting n is equal to r plus 1 in this relation number 1 putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1 we'll get p r plus 1 which will be here total number of terms will be r plus 1 terms okay up to this much we have taken r term we have to take one more term r plus 1 a term so here lhs will be 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1 by 3 into 4 into 5 plus 1 by r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 here we have we are putting n is equal to r but we have to put n is equal to r plus 1 so we have to take one more term so here putting uh, n is equal to r plus 1 this will be 1 by r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 here we are putting n is equal to r plus 1 and right hand side will be n is equal to r plus 1 so this is r plus 1 into r plus 1 plus 3 means r plus 4 divided by 4 into r plus 1 plus 1 so r plus 2 and r plus 1 plus 2 is r plus 3 we have to prove it now we have to show that p r plus 1 is true so we will start with left hand side here and we will come to right hand side then LHS will be equal to RHS. So LHS is here 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1 by 3 into 4 into 5 plus 1 by R into R plus 1 into R plus 2 plus 1 by R plus 1 into R plus 2 into R plus 3. Okay. But you see relation number 2 up to this many terms we are having here R into R plus 3 by 4 into R plus 1 into R plus 2. So we can replace this much part by its corresponding value using relation number 2. So here in place of this much we are writing here r into r plus 3 divided by 4 into r plus 1 into r plus 2 and plus this is next term 1 by r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3. Now we have to simplify it and we have to come to this value right hand side here. So let us take LCM of the denominators. So here LCM will be 4 into R plus 1 into R plus 2 into R plus 3. And here you see uh, whenever we will divide this LCM by this denominator you will get here r plus 3. So, this is r into r plus 3 whole square r into r plus 3 whole square and here simply 4 because LCM is here this much and denominator is this much. So, when it will divide by this denominator we will get 4. So, we will write here 4 correct. Now, let us simplify it. Denominator is as as it is 4 into r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 correct and let us simplify it this is whole square so this is r square plus 6 r plus 9 which will be multiplied with r so we will get here r cube plus 6 r into r is 6 r square plus 9 r plus 4. 
after simplifying we have to come here come to this result correct and this is equal to denominator is 4 into r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 correct you see and here numerator should be this much and after multiplying this is r square plus 5 r plus 4 so we will write it in this form we will try to convert it in this way here so this can be written as r cube plus 5 r square plus 4 uh, this is 9 r here you will get after multiplying r square plus 5 r plus 4 so this 9 r can be written as here 5 r plus 4 r so this is 5 r correct and plus here we have already written 5 r square here 6 r square so write r square here here we are having 6 r square we have read 5 r square that's why we are writing r square here now we are having 9 r but we are writing here 5 r so we'll write here 4 r and plus 4 correct and uh, this is equal to it should be r square plus 5 r plus 4 so you write here 4 r and here 5 r there is no problem because ultimately we have to write 9 r so this is 4 r plus 5 r is 9 r correct okay now from these three terms we will take r common from first three terms we will take r common here so we are getting here r square plus 5 r plus 4 and again this is r square plus 5 r plus 4 r square plus 5 r plus 4 and here denominator is 4 into r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 now here we can take r square plus 5 r plus 4 common from these two parts so r square plus 5 r plus 4 is common from here we are getting r and here from 1 so this is r plus 1 r plus 1 and denominator is here 4 into r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 so r plus 1 will be cancel out here correct and this r square plus 5 r plus 4 after factorizing it you will get r plus 1 into r plus 4 you will get this is r plus 1 into r plus 4 and in numerator we are getting this much 4 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 4 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 correct so this is equal to right hand side numerator is r plus 1 into r plus 4 denominator is 4 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 so we had started with lhs and we are coming to rhs so lhs is equal to rhs it means here lhs is equal to rhs it means p r plus 1 is true and therefore by principle of mathematical induction we are getting pn is true for all n proved so that's all about the solution of this question 
question is very interesting very important question hope you have understood it very well and we will see some more problem in other videos to come thank you very much for watching this video